All right, well, just doing a little quick update again. Um, just kind of show you where I'm at with things currently. Uh, as you can see, we got this uh, section pretty well lit up now. We got Eric's all lit up, uh, El Culo Lamonte. My wife says I need to uh, light up the donkey itself. I, I, I agree with her. I think I need to add some lights up there. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I think that's looking pretty good. And then I love the Zippo sign since the first time I saw it. <clears throat> and I always wanted it. And they don't make it anymore. Um, but I got it on eBay. And so that's going to be the Zippo factory back there. Right now it's running off a of battery, so it's a little dimmer than it normally would be. But I don't want to do any drilling right now because it's still earlier in the morning and my wife is still sleeping upstairs. So happy wife, happy life, right? We don't want to disturb her. So right now I just have it running on its battery pack instead of on the main. And uh, we got the neon to, for the donut. I got that apart. Uh, it came apart pretty easily, actually. I was pretty happy with that. Um, I could start adding neon, add neon to the uh, restaurant here, the donut uh, shop, and, uh, and then today we had a little problem, as you notice, uh, we have a little blackout area, Texaco station is blacked out, I uh, guess they didn't pay their bill, but actually what happened was, is I turned it all on, and uh, after a few minutes, uh, I noticed uh, a little smoky smell, a little electrical smell in the air and uh, I've had problems with the rotating sign um, before but I don't know if it's that or not um, but what it did is the uh, power supply if it if it detects that there's a short somewhere in the system it'll it'll go dark and the little light LED light that's on the power supply will flicker so I know it's Probably not an LED that went out to, because it, if an LED goes out, it, it generally won't take out the whole system. So it's got to be one of the signs, and there's three signs there, and I'm suspecting the rotator, but we'll find out. I got to take this um, off, anyways, to add the neon, and uh, I'm going to add the stoplight over there on the corner. So it's got to come out anyways, and it's been due to happen, and I, now I have the neon, and I'm just waiting for the LED lights from uh, Evans Designs to come in uh, with the holiday weekend and that. You know, I don't expect to see them for at least a couple more days. So we'll get the, you know, get this taken out. I'll take it off the di off the whole diorama. This, uh, this is a two-foot section um, by four-foot section, so it'll slide right off. And, uh... I'll take everything off of it, and then it'll give me a chance to, to freshen it up, and it's going to look a lot different from what it does now, especially because that will and that will work again. Uh, but there's also going to be a neon, and uh, hopefully I can get that sign to work properly again. It's uh, kind of annoying, but uh, that's where we're at right now. So uh, please. Uh, subscribe and like and share and comment and uh, I appreciate everybody who's been supporting me all this time and uh, stay tuned there's more